today we're going to be solving some challenging equations involving simplifying non-perfect squares. So here, our goal is to get x by itself and take the square root. Once we get the square root, we're going to simplify the radical just like we've been doing the past few days. So we have two sides of the equations with parentheses, so we need to start by distributing. When I distribute x times x, that's like multiplying x by itself, so we get x squared. And then x times 4 is 4x, bring down the minus 20, equals, distribute the 1 half, half of 8x is 4x, and half of 24 is 12. So now I have parts of equations on either side of the equal sign that I need to put together. I have a 4x on both sides, so I'm going to subtract 4x. And when I subtract 4x, it makes the equation a lot easier because the 4x cancels on both sides of the equation. So I get x squared minus 20 equals 12. Now I need to isolate the x squared term. I can do that by adding 20 to both sides of the equation. And I get x squared equals 32. And then my last step is to take the square root. Because I have a square, the opposite is to take the square root. And 32 is not a perfect square, so right now my answer can be written as the square root of 32. But we know from previous lessons that that square root can be simplified. So I'm going to go over to this simplify box, write my 32, and make a factor tree. Now, 32 can be factored many different ways. So if I decide to factor it as doing 4 times 8, I need to break that all down. 4 times 8 is 2 times 2, which is a perfect for our primes. And 8 is 2 times 4. 2 is prime. 4 is 2 times 2. Both are prime. So I get 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, or 2 to the fifth power. Now, those first four 2s make an even set of 2s. Therefore, that's going to be a perfect square. And 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. Times 2 is 16. So 16 times 2 is how I would rewrite it. 16 is a perfect square. I can take its square root. I get 4. I can't take the square root of 2, so I leave it, making my final answer 4 square root 2. So 2 and 3 are similar to that one. I'm going to jump to number 4 and do 4 with you, and then you'll be on your own to do the ones that I've left off. Okay, so number four looks a little bit lengthier. It's not much more challenging, but we see that we have to square everything inside of the parentheses here. So I have to square one half x squared. So that's like doing one half times one half, and then x times x. So one half times one half is one times one, which is one. Two times two is four, so we get one fourth. And then x times x is x squared. Okay, so it's important to make sure you square everything in the parentheses there. Then we're going to distribute negative 3, and we get negative 6x plus, because a negative times a negative is a positive, 24 equals, distribute the negative 6, negative 6x plus 42. Again, making very sure that you do negative times a negative to get a positive there and don't mess up your signs. Now again, we have lots of terms that we have to put together, some on opposite sides of the equation. So I'm going to start by adding 6x to both sides. And because they're the same on opposite sides, they cancel out on both sides, leaving me with 1 4th x squared plus 24 equals 42. Now I can subtract 24, and I get a 4th x squared equals... 18. Okay, from here you want to multiply by the reciprocal of 1 fourth, which would be 4 over 1. And then we multiply 18 by 4, giving us x squared equals 4 times 8 is 32, carry the 3, 4 times 1 plus 3 is 7. So it's 72. We take the square root. And once again, we know that 72 is not a perfect square. So for right now, we're going to leave our answer as x equals the square root of 72. Then we're going to go over to our simplify box and make a factor tree of 72. So off the top of my head, when I see 72, I think of 8 times 9. 
I'm going to break both of those down. 8 is 2 times 4. 2 is prime. 4 is 2 times 2, both of which are prime. And 9 is 3 times 3, both of which are prime. So I list those underneath my radical. 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Anything that shows up an even number of times is a perfect square. So I've got 2 times 2 and 3 times 3. Both show up an even number of times. So 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. So this is 36 times 2. The square root of 36 is 6. And the 2 stays behind. So our final answer is 6 square root 2. All right, so you are now on your own for the rest of the lesson. Um, I'll be around to help you out, of course, and make sure that you are simplifying carefully.